been a fan of your work for a very long time. Very long time. And I had a question in regards to Top Gun 2. <laughs> I do. I want to ask you about Top Gun. Because do you think, are you, I mean, is that something that you think should be going down? Or you, you think that it's a movie that should have been left where it was? Or how do you feel about the fact that they're going to do a second one? Look, when we did the original Top Gun, um, God, just about everyone's dead now. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I mean, it's been that long. It's a lot, you know, yeah. the director mm -hmm. committed suicide. Uh, yeah. Had medical Tony's problems. Quiet, yeah. and, uh, but the original, the original script really was, I remember the, um, I'm going to get emotional talking. Anyway, the story was only that thick. As thick as the script. Yeah. Everything was about the flying sequence and action and stuff. And Tom did a wonderful job of creating that idea of somebody who's, rebellious to an institution, you know, and uh, and walk that line between, because there really wasn't a lot of character development stuff in that story. It needed a follow-up story. And as far as I remember, the story was Tom signed off on not doing Top Gun 2, getting to do uh, Thunderbolt, Thunder, what is oh, it? Oh, Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder, yeah. yes. And... Uh, Cold Trickle. Yep. And uh, it's time. You, you it do, is time, it especially time. with the, the, and I don't know how much they're going to get into this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything to do with this film. You, you wouldn't do? No, you Brookheimer, would, Jerry, um, Brookheimer, uh, the producer and stuff like that, we had a bit of a falling out a couple of years ago over something. Um, can, you get, can you say what it is? You don't want to say I mean, he it. wanted me to do it. He wanted me to do a show, um, and I didn't want to do it because the writing wasn't that well done. Okay. And he said, yeah, but this and this. I said, no, I don't want to do was it. Was it a show that actually ended up airing? It, it ended up getting produced, and it lasted about four shows, okay. five shows and stuff. And it's not like, hey, I was right. It's just that... But you, know, you're in, you followed your instincts. No, I'm in my 60s, for yeah. Christ's sakes. I yeah. mean, I've only got so much time left. I don't want to spend my time sitting around doing something and supporting something that's not going to go somewhere. Yeah. And he took that very personally? Or? I think he took it personally, yes, yeah. uh, because they said no to him. His... his, his uh, Everyone, we all had our call signs. His was the bookkeeper. Yeah. On on Top Gun, they referred to him as the bookkeeper. And uh, but uh, I remember we were at a hockey game. I don't know if we should be fucking talking about it. Do it, hey, Jerry. If you're watching, <laughs> we were at a hockey game. He's a Kings fan, and uh, the Leafs are in town. I was done watching the game, and I walked up and said, "Hey, Jerry," and he looked right at me and he went, "Huh." And turned his back. Oh, it was after, and I, it was after this whole thing went down. Yeah, oh, and this wow. is about a month later. Oh, and wow. uh, and I said, "Yay! I hope the Kings do well tonight." Yeah, you know, at least kick their ass. Was that the last <laughs> uh, interaction? Right and that was it. The, and um, there's no coming back for me. No things for time. I heard before. via the, I heard via the grapevine that there was no way I was going to be any part of. Well, that sucks. Does it bother but that, you? No, or? it doesn't bother me because I did as much as I could with that yeah. character originally. Um, I'm glad Tom's getting a shot at it because he'll bring and fuck all the talk about Tom Cruise. I don't have anything bad to say about the guy. What a guy does in his personal life, yeah. that's that's fine. Yeah, he's a pleasure to work with on set. He's, he's, he's a, a he's yeah. a professional. Heard, he's a yeah. good guy. He shows up. He stayed in character most of the time. We had a couple of great uh, moments together and stuff like this off camera and stuff. And uh, that character now hopefully is going to address what we were talking about: is the separation of humanity from weaponry and stuff like yeah. that. You know, like the same as a cell phone keeps us separate from talking and communicating. Now you can push a button and kill people from 2,000 miles right, away. You right, don't right, even right. have to be physically witnessing it or be a part of it. Right. You don't have to take physical responsibility. Well, that's interesting how they're gonna how they're gonna you know dealing with, with drones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The eighty five was when that movie came out, and now we're two thousand nineteen or twenty when it comes out. So that that's that's pretty interesting. That they're gonna be using that technology. The what, other movie, very similar. Sorry, you were you upset that you weren't uh, included in the shirtless jean short beach volleyball scene, <laughs> or was that something that? <laughs> Really giving no, a thought. Really giving no, a thought. No, it's good. I'm trying to politely answer things. <laughs> um, you can yell at me. Yeah. You can bite my head off. Christ sakes, that was 200 films ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, when, yeah. Oh, he's, we yell at him all the time. So yeah. But the other. When,